So I am Orland Bayak, and this research is a joint effort that we have been doing with Brazilian universities for the last five years. And as we see, you'll see towards the end of this presentation, we now extended our co cooperation with Portugal, in particular with the Azores, which is part of Portugal. Uh, Why sensor networks are uh, <coughs> networks of uh, devices connected using electromagnetic waves, and they are part of what we call nowadays the Internet of Things. Okay. Uh, the IoT revolution, okay, means that instead of having people talk to people, machine talk to machine, we'll have things talk to things, which is this piece here talk with this one, your cat talk with the neighbor's dog, and so forth. <laughs> now, our prop proposition is having trees talking with the trees, and in fact, is this is already kind of happening, and that is basically the structure of what it is. Um, so we create a term called the Internet of Natural Things. Everybody is creating new terms nowadays, and we create this our own, okay? And uh, the basic thing is, this might work. The problem is, we cannot rely in the traditional use of chemical batteries, okay? The reason is, it's very difficult, imagine, to put uh, batteries in a forest. Who is going to go there every time to replace them, okay? So we... <coughs> came to the, the concept of energy harvesting, which is taking energy from the environment and feed our devices. Uh, for example, you know, mechanical vibrations, uh, thermal uh, energy, and so forth. Um, here is some of the examples. For example, you can take a light and convert it in electricity using the photovoltaic cells, or you can use the or movement here and convert that in mechanical uh, energy. Uh, in the case, this is the basic structure of a system that in involves collecting the energy, storing the energy, and then processing it to feed the sensors. And uh, the sensors that we use in the environment is to measure particulates, CO2, CO, and so forth. Uh, one example that was done in, uh, in Brazil was taking energy out of the transmission lines along a street and measure the pollution uh, along that, uh, that street. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, thing that we use is what is called thermoelectric effect, which converts thermal energy in electrical energy. And in physicists call this Seebeck effect. Uh, so here is the tree. What we do, we put a kind of uh, nail inside the tree. There is a different temperature between the center of the tree and the outside during the day. Outside is hotter than the ins inside, and at night is vice versa. So that's what we have here, and that difference of the temperature creates an electric voltage that we need to process in order to feed our uh, sensors. And uh, this is the experimental result, and as you can see here, you know, the voltage change from positive to negative the day for the night, because at night it is just the opposite effect. So this system has an advantage of traditional systems because it can work day and night. Uh, here is basically a structure. Evident, evidently, we needed to process that, that, uh, that uh, 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 difference in temperature and voltage, so we need to build an electric circuit. Okay? And uh, uh, we managed to create a system or design a system in which even a very tiny voltage of 20 millivolts for those who uh, uh, are more on the technical side, you know, is very low to feed any device, but we had some kind of engineering, you know, uh, combination of devices that make that possible. Uh, <clears throat> uh, as far as measuring pollution, there are two ways to do that. One is stationary stations, as we have here in Tacoma few around here, or mobile stations, both have, you know, pluses and, 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 and uh, negatives. So the idea that we had, for example, for the city of Tacoma would be create a network of sensors that could measure things like, you know, not only pollution, but also noise, if you can detect a gun being shot, and so forth, okay? And uh, 
In the Azores project, Azores is an archipelago with many islands that had a volcanic origin, and there is a lot of tourism now there, and that is going to be destroying the environment. The Azores Geopark is part of the United States Geopark uh, Network, okay? And uh, what we are going to do that is two kinds of things. First, we are going to, to place sensors in the mini buses that run around the, the, the island, and measure the pollution. And the other one is uh, on the paths that are used by the tourists, we're going to put sensors that can measure either the number of people that go there or the width of the path that changes as the people comes to destroy. Uh, uh, in terms of achievements, you know, we created this concept of uh, uh, internet of natural things. We showed energy harvesting is a critical instrument to do that. We designed this unique elect electronic circuit, okay? And uh, we have tested our system in very different locations, including here in Tacoma. We did one in the uh, computer uh, information system uh, uh, compound there. And uh, the last one that we did was uh, out of the balcony of one of the buildings here. So we have our concept, uh, proof of concept that this thing works. Okay, so that's it. <laughs>